Hello, and welcome to our Vampire the Masquerade 5th Edition Chronicle, Vancouver by Night, New Blood. As a warning, this is a mature game and it explores some dark and troubling themes. These may include body horror, gore, violence, loss of character agency, gaslighting, mind control, and many others. Our players have discussed consent and boundaries, and we collectively avoid situations that may be triggering. If any of you feel triggered or uncomfortable during this particular broadcast, uh, feel free to step away and come back to an episode when you feel ready, or you can skip ahead to the next one. All of our streams are going to be available on YouTube after the game, so you can always come back to an episode when you feel ready. First off, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Mikhail Artoria of Artoria Designs, who creates these beautiful dice boxes. And you can hear the dice ASMR rolling around in there. Uh, please visit him on Instagram. The link is in the chat. And they've got the leather inlay, so you can. Oh, I'm gonna keep that roll. All right, you can roll if you want in the actual dice boxes. Uh, and Illumin Agents. Illumin Agents is a comedy web series that weaves real conspiracy theories into its sci-fi short form episodes. It's shot in Toronto. And this indie production will leave you laughing and questioning reality at the same time. Season one, which includes this guy right here, uh, it also includes their musical finale episode. You can watch that for free on Sika.tv. And Orc Style. Orc Style is an adults-only fantasy fetish fashion brand for all you orc-loving monster huggers out there. Orc style shirts, underwear, and accessories are sure to drop your intelligence and increase your confidence by 10 points. They have also just released their Chompers Orc Tusks. Chompers are perfect for cosplay, roleplay, streaming, and Orc style's expert tusk enchanters infuse the spirits of great orcs, trolls, ogres, and goblins into magical tusks that will transform the common human into a fierce monster. Uh, Martlet Games is a collective of TTRPG veterans ready to work for you. From tabletop RPG development to actual play production, they have contributed to various storytellers' vaults, titles, and sponsor channels like this one to keep the World of Darkness a haven for those with stories to tell. You can visit their link over there in the chat and to explore their world, and they can help you create yours. Uh, Adventure Dice. Adventure Dice is your Canadian source for dice, role-playing game accessories, and other tabletop gaming goodies. Many of their items on their site are handcrafted in beautiful British Columbia, Canada, and Joanna, I believe, is above me displaying some of the Adventure Dice. Uh, and Dogmite Games. Dogmite Games is the best gaming company you've never heard of. They combine craftsmanship with artistry, to create truly unique pieces of functional art for your game, from dice boxes and rolling trays to fully sculpted Valhalla screens for GMs. Each piece is created on site in the workshop in Michigan by a devoted team of craftsmen. And I've got the Gangrel one because, well, it's the best clan. Hiding words, but okay. <laughs> Calm down, you know. <laughs> We're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Uh, and Demiplane. Demiplane is an amazing online source uh, for your role-playing needs. It has a bunch of awesome stuff. It's got all of the vampire books so far. Um, and it's got some character creation stuff, which I believe is coming soon. Uh, and you can look up Disciplines on the Fly, which I've already discovered is insanely useful. Uh, it is just so easy to click on different things that you need. If you need a rule of clarification, it's got the books in there. It's super easy to do. So now with the that stuff out of the way, it's time to introduce our vampires. Let's start up here over in the upper left-hand corner with uh, Violetta. Uh, my name is Cosmic Dazai. I will be playing the Sinitsi, Violetta Tremblay, tonight. And up here, Sophia. Hello, Monica here, playing Sophia de la Cour, your awesome Toreador extraordinaire. Up above me is Antonia. 
Hello, my name is Joanna, and I'm playing Antonia Piotrowska, your wonderful, amazing, kind of power hungry venture. What? <laughs> There's no such thing as a power hungry venture. Everybody knows that. Uh, and over here to my left and your left, conveniently enough, because everything's flipped on the internet, uh, Key. Hello, I am Chris, aka D and D Imposter, aka Key Mori, in this game. Um, who honestly, after uh, Key's performance last week, if everyone dies, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Key's fault because they did something stupid, like taking cigarettes from somebody allegedly important. But that's neither here nor there. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing in Vampire the Masquerade ever comes back to bite the players in the ass. Never. That's what I've heard. I'm untouchable. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, for the player characters, over here is the old man. Hello, my name is Alan, and I am playing the old man, the Nas Faratu uh, fixer, cleaner, get shit done extraordinaire that is true and if you want to head over to our youtube you can see the last couple episodes where in fact uh the old man and key got some stuff done and we did uh, though yeah <laughs> yeah we did so when last yeah, we saw <laughs> the vampires <That's> <laughs> Uh, when last we saw the vampires that are on screen, uh, they were accepting something. They Violetta were... and Key were signing their friendship certificate. Yeah. the Is that what the way we want to term that? <laughs> no, we do not. No, we do not. It is Ricky. <laughs> it's, not it's just a small binding. stepping stone on the path to friendship. Yeah, every journey begins with the first step, I suppose. Uh, and the coterie itself had been granted domain of the um, the not not only just the club that Antonia owns, but also the kind of nine block grid around it. So a, it's a territory. It's not just, you know, you can have domain of the club itself. And that was granted by, let me just make sure that I've got this correct. It's Adrian Brantley, the seneschal of the Toreador that was dressed completely head to toe in white. He had, he had actually just left not too long before this episode begins uh, because in this episode, we had cut off that episode right when there was going to be some explanations happening. So I'm going to let all of you get into those explanations. I'll be over here if you need me. So tell us what happened. Uh. Right. So, uh, who who's gonna start here, Key? Well, someone's got to spill the tea. What's tea? Oh uh, yeah, I don't I don't know what that means. The tea, okay. the you know the you know the tea. Like it's... dish the dirt, the darts. Yes. The uh, what happened? Explain. Ex yes. Thank that. You. All right. Okay. The drama. So we we followed a lead. We found an abandoned warehouse. We found someone else there. Uh, they tried to run. We apprehended them. We questioned them, brought them here. And uh, the lead that we f f followed, no longer being useful, has been, well, is in the process, I guess, of being handled. And uh, 
yeah, it appears there's uh, new players in town. So Jack is gone? Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Like, gone, gone? He's like... going. Oh, I see. Oh. Shame. No, it's not. Yeah. I liked his cheekbones. You like can, anything with a pulse. I can I can save them if you want. No, no, it's fine. I, I'll find another pretty thing. Uh-huh. So right. new players. Yeah. Someone colorful carrying a hair as a a weapon, fancy one with an accent, uh, another one, and then I think one more after that, but I don't know, I forget. And then how one knows who they're affiliated with or, or whatever, but I can put my ear to the ground and find out if you want. So what about this Giovanni fella? It looks like his operation was tore up by these new players. Mm. And we have no idea who these new players are. Truly mm. illuminating. That's why I said I'd keep my ear to the ground. Yes, I know. Don't repeat yourself. Then why do you ask him the same question twice, basically? She's got a point. This is an A-B conversation. See yourself out. I've been trying to see my way out this whole time, but I have to stay. So. Relief. I'm done Anyone. with this. Can you I take it by a letter? Can, okay, can we just, can we just please? I don't like it when we fight. We have a job to do. What's the job? Well... The job is we find out who these new players are so that we can find out why they're trying to run drugs, potentially. I, I, I think they're thin blood. They must be thin blood drugs. No, um, let, let, have you hold, tried the drugs? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No one said that the, the new players were trying to run drugs. The the Giovanni, yeah, they're new, but whoever upended their operation, we still don't know why that happened. Did you get a right? clear look at any of their faces? No. They were long gone, and the one who we ap apprehended, who is in our trunk, by the way. Most of them, yes. Well, then we should talk to them. Yes. All right. What's the oh the what? What do we have to we'll, say? We'll talk to the first one. Jack is giving us everything we can, so he stays. Uh, give me a wits and awareness for whoever is keeping an eye, kind of around the conversation. I guess would be the best way. What's an awareness? Oh, what's an awareness? Yeah. Yes. I think Sophia Five. would be too uh... engrossed <laughs> in the conversation. <laughs> um, yeah. I got a critical success and a regular success. Nice. Only two. Uh, oh, so yeah, that's just two successes for that. Uh, what did I... else get? Two uh, successes. Bonia? Two successes as well. Uh, how many, Violetta? Two successes for the old man. Two success Everybody got two successes. This is hilarious. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> We're doing great, guy. Um, so throughout the course of the conversation, uh, you're all going back and forth, different points of view. And it takes you a few minutes into the conversation 
Um, so Antonia has a question. Would there be kind of like a table that is in this back room area? Well, I think we're still in the VIP. I don't think we left the, well, the VVIP, mm -hmm. the one where uh, we were talking to the Seneschal. The one where uh, you so can we take would... care of vampire business in the club itself. Yeah, so okay. it would be a booth-ish kind of area. Um, yeah, you all take a couple minutes to realize that this particular thing is happening, but while you were all kind of going back and forth, uh, on a nearby table, there, one of you, and then you all kind of, kind of glance over when the one uh, whoever it is that glances over first, because uh, you all scored the same amount, so it would be kind of almost simultaneously. You see on the table that's joining, it, there's a rat that is not at all small, and it's sitting up on its back legs, and it's looking... Whenever someone talks, it would look at them, and then it would look at the next person who's talking, and it seems- I catch that rat. I do sense the unseen. Sense the unseen? Okay. Uh, that is a, I believe it is a wits and aspects roll. Okay. Let me just check out the gameplay. Yeah, what's in aspects? Let's go with that. Uh, for the catching attempt of the rat, um, old man, give me a. Let's go with the dex in athletics. Okay. Deathletics. Guess how many? Two. Five. Always five. Always five. <laughs> Got it balanced out. It's the it's the jack of all trades. It's super useful. Uh, and that is uh, three successes. Three successes. Yeah, sorry. It uh, and Sophia, how many successes for the sense of the unseen? Uh, is five a success or a failure? Five would not be a success. Six and above is success. Okay, I have one success. One success. Of... Um, so you close Six. your eyes. And you open up your senses to the supernatural. Mm -hmm. And just as you're kind of focusing in on the rat itself, the old man kind of walks over and snap, snatches it up. Oh, oh, dang it. So you're just kind of focusing in and then there's like, then, but you get kind of a, you get kind of a feeling that there's not, this rat isn't exactly non-supernatural I guess would be the best way of putting it mm -hmm. uh, and for the old man you have the rat in your hand the rat didn't seem like it was going to be dodging at any point in time it just kind of sat there and let you snatch it up and now that you have it in your hand it has kind of like a vest on like oh. it's got little like little buckles and stuff and on mm -hmm. the on the back of the vest there's like a kind of a glass tube with a cork in it and it looks like there's a piece of paper and i like it's not like biting me in it in my hand it is not i hmm. just hold it up and just turn it around and And uh like in your pass. hand, it's not necessary it's not like endearing itself to you, kind of like rubbing on you no. or anything, but no. it's just kind of like it just goes limp now that it's in your hand. Ew. Like like it's not dead, it's just you can tell it's still alive, but it's just <laughs> it's just relaxing, just hanging out, just chilling. I uh I pass the note to Ant Honia. Please wash your hands after this. Antonia takes it and 
Uh, it of, is. I'm... It is kind of parchment ish, and it's rolled up, and it's got like a little piece of string that's kind of like holding it in the 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 roll up. Okay, Antonia takes her like fingernails and kind of pinches the string and pulls it and unrolls the parchment. Um, there's a, actually, give me a what's an awareness for Antonia, because you're the closest one to this particular thing that it's occurring. And well, vampires generally don't breathe. So, uh, all right. Uh, so, uh, Antonia, I believe was doing a what's an awareness. But yeah, the rat basically just seems to be like, it's not snuggling. It's just, it looks like it's about to fall asleep, really. It looks just kind of chill and relaxed now that the old man has the rat in his hand. I'm still holding it. Antonia, how are we doing? Two successes. Two successes? Just... You almost don't catch it. But there's like a... It's like a perfume smell that came out of the scroll when you unraveled it. If you... I, sorry? I was going to say, do I recognize it? But I think you're about to... I was just about to get to that. Uh, you kind of recognize it. But at the same time, it's not exactly the people that you would feed from it's not their regular kind of scent but it's distinctly for anybody who would know this and to be honest now that i'm looking around i don't think anyone would really in this particular coterie <laughs> have anybody that would go with ck1 um it's either Thanks. yeah for the torridor it's I'll like fly. definitely not for the Zemissi, it's in the Ventru, it's like, no, not really. But there's there's a perfumey smell that's coming from this. Antonia so mutters under style. Her... Yeah, I was going to say, Antonia mutters under her breath, how cheap. Ugh, it smells like blue collar worker. Hey, we do not smell like this. Oh, no, so you you're right. It's like pretty garbage. awful. This is this is pretty awful. So you unravel the scroll? Yep. Um This is this is a weird combination. The scroll itself is only about yay wide, but it unravels like a fair bit so you could get it's like maybe a foot in length. But you unravel it, and it's written in crayon, but it's written in a way that is like, it, it actually looks like an old medieval scroll. And can I read it? You can. Uh, what it says is that the uh, dearest Antonia... The local Nosferatu, Christoph, seeks an audience with the coterie that you are a part of that is, in fact, now in control of, and they list off kind of addresses and street names of, like, you recognize it as being like, that is now your domain. It's almost like they knew that this was going to be happening. Okay, Antonia looks at the scroll. Looks at the old man, looks at the scroll again, and just goes, these are your people. Oh, God, more right people. It says they want to meet all of us, but 
you want me to handle it instead? No, oh, I just wanted to know if you knew anything about them wanting meetings with us. Has there been any underground talk or anything? Uh, would I know this uh, individual? Uh, you would. Kristoff is higher up in the Nosferatu clan. He's not in charge. The Nosferatu that is in charge of the area is Jean Morag. Sorry, uh, um, out of game. Uh, is he the pile of laundry? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> the pile of laundry is Frank, who is the keeper of Elysium. Got it. In every okay. dimension that I run. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay, and we're back. Um... I say, um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I know who this is. Is there a Kinda, reason why they would want to meet us? I don't know, but it's pretty wild that word would travel that fast. You just got this domain not half hour ago, and you got this note just now. So... Well, I can have great security, but I don't have a Tremere on staff, so there is only so much I can do to prevent various smaller members of our kindred society of entering in areas. You should, you should get a cat. I should. And, and I, oh. uh... And 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 the the, yes. the 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 rat that's that's in my hand, knowing that it is like of little value as an animal, but because it was used as a messenger for a higher up, like like hurting it would be a bad gesture. Like like yeah. spitting is is like un un. Tidy spitting at someone's feet is a huge offense. So I just take this rat and I just like kind of like softball toss it down on the ground and let it run away. Well, it lands on on its feet. It's probably a, like not exactly the most dexterous landing you've ever seen, but and then it just kind of like kind of readjusts itself, turns around, looks at all of you, and it's standing on its hind legs again and watching you. I, I roll m m my, my eyes and say, we're on our way. Oh, that's so lovely. No, no. You can speak crap. Are we going into the sewers? We're not going into the sewers, are we? Calm, da calm down. Oh, That's where his people are, Sophia, so obviously. Oh, I just bought this dress. Yep. Storyteller, where where was the meeting requested again? Uh, there was no area. Oh. Uh, I take it if I know of this individual and I know uh, the underground, then I would know... Um uh where i could find them or find contacts uh let's get a do, 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 does, do any of you have animal kin as a skill no i opted out of that path <laughs> I, I was i was so tempted to be like mm -hmm. the rat man, but instead of just the old <laughs> <No>. man. <laughs> you guys like um, rats, you know, like of, I, I could have been. Instead of the I old got. rat man, just the old man. Okay, I got exactly. it, I got it. I want to talk about Bruno. So. <laughs> uh, in that case, uh, does any, if anyone wants to do like a wits or intelligence plus politics role that Ooh. Ooh, I, yeah. I, I have good dice in you that. go for it <laughs> antonia 
please tell me you have a safe for me to put my jewelry in. Oh, of course. And oh, uh, I'll take, we'll, we'll go down there in a minute. Um, I'm going to roll that intelligence and politics because that's a good roll for me. Ready? I have a lot of dice. Three successes. Three successes. Uh, how many successes, Violetta? Uh, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, still arranging the dice pool. There's that many. <laughs> Four successes. <laughs> yes. Uh, did anyone else go for it? No. I did, but I got two successes. Two successes. Near them. So it's a four, three, two. Okay. Uh, Sophia, did you make a roll? I debated it. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> All right. Little, little arm twisting one from success. the storyteller. Okay. Oh, it is a four, three, two, one. <laughs> yep. I love that's, it. That's amazing. Um, and I don't have politics. So you can still make an intelligence roll if you want to do, but, or a wits roll. Mm, I could do wits, I guess, but I only have three in that overall. Okay. Um, you yeah. can always rouse. <laughs> <laughs> rouse. I could rouse, but not here, not now. Yeah. <laughs> Stars. There's certain Online. roles that you're like, you know what? Maybe I don't yeah. want to rouse for this. This, is, this isn't worth the b- blood. <laughs> yeah. you know? These are your people. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> what do you mean by your people? <laughs> yeah. Actually, I meant exactly what I meant. Right? Right? <laughs> Violetta. I meant exactly what I said. Blue collar criminals. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, no successes. Actually, no, okay. it is, four, oh, three, wow, two, one, zero. Four, wow. three, two, one, zero. You can willpower it. Dang. <laughs> So, uh, Violetta would be the one who clues into this first, and then Antonia, Sophia, Key, and the old man. Or was it Key and then Sophia? Key and then Sophia. And Key then and the old man. Okay. Yeah. For the 43210. All right. So, Violetta clues in first that maybe you might not have to go into the sewers. Maybe this is a, you should maybe scribble down some kind of a note and give it to the rat. That seems to be maybe, if this was a human messenger that had delivered such message, that you could probably just hand them a, or give tell them a message, and then they would return to whoever it is that sent them initially. Like, because me, the player, I can't snap. <laughs> Imagine I'm snapping right now. Viola is snapping right now. It's just like, you, what? you speak rat. Go and write something to your rat people. Tell them we're meeting them at seven. Ask them Not in the sewers, pre- preferably. Yes, that we too. Do. why not in the sewers? If we have it's to go gross. in the sewers, if if you do need to go in the sewers, we'll get you some galoshes or some other things. I'm sure that there's something in the <sighs> in the in the storage closets. We'll find Fine. you something. But if anything gets in my hair, I'm sending you my hairdresser's bill. Wait, wait, wait yo, we can. You you said we got to write something down or yes. what you, you you can uh i'm going to try and explain it you can write something i i'm using I'm, a pen <laughs> i'm i'm still holding the piece of parch parchment i uh um via levetta did do you have a pen on you I'm oh i do of, why would i give you asking, one, of, uh, one of my I'm, pens. I'm asking out of character oh out of character yes <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like, is it like d- 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 visible? You can probably like see it like my uh, my blazer in one of my blazer pockets. I take that pen. 
and I <gasps> and just yeah. I write down Vancouver shipyards and a very specific spot, and then and I just not put that back in my coat. I put it right <laughs> back in the coat. Uh, I I roll it up. Actually, no. One hand. It's Van Hoover. Uh, and um, and I tuck the note back into the tube, into the rat's vest, and I say, the fuck out of here. Uh, it's looking up at you, and, you know, as you're putting the, the note back in its kind of pouch, and then it kind of scurries off. Oh, thank God it's gone. I definitely, you are right. I need to get a cat in here. Actually, you know what? We'll get two. We'll get two cats to roam, one upstairs, one downstairs, so that no more surprises like this. Can we name one Pablo? We can name one whatever you want. $100 bullet point pen from the 1940s. Yeah. That I had shipped Parker, from Austria. Yeah, my 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 my. This my was a man. Valentino suit. Yeah, I might this have some was worth more than your life. I'm dead. Maya, let us be dramatic again, Antonia. Please help. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> All right. So what is the so so what are we doing? Where, old man? Where are we going? It's sorry. It's the shut up twice. The yeah. first. <laughs> amazing. Um, uh, I say, I say, um, Vancouver shipyards. I I I got it in, so we're good. So, out of character, East End. Yep. Shipyards. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Cool. Valentine. Ducks? Yeah. I actually do know the ducks real well here. <laughs> <laughs> My husband was a port agent at Canada Place. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, I say, yeah, I used to help with uh, various shipping and receiving concerns for notable individuals back in the day. As long as it's not the sewers, I'm happy. Do we, when do we think that they're going to come meet us? Because I'm hungry. I I would assume that I wrote a time as well, and I would have definitely left time before our meet time to uh, eat. Yeah. So uh, w- w- with that, I say, two motherfuckers in the trunk, one of them you want to... T- Talk, talk to. Can we p- pass him off, and t- t- Tonya? Um, I believe so. I, I guess we can interview them. Um, what do you say, Violetta? Do you care to interview their newest acquisition? Yeah. I have nothing more than to talk to. Some trash after my suit has been Violetta. ruined. Violetta. You haven't been going to your therapy sessions, have you? Violetta, I do my not suit. have anger issues. Do you want another drink, dear? Oh, Violetta's back drinking. Look at this all makes Violetta. Sense. Very nice. I will have my sire ship something especially for you. All right. Is that okay? Will that make it better? Do not touch me again! I think that's what's best we're going to get out of her tonight. (laughs) All right. Antonia sends a a message, a quick text message to her sire. It says, we have a wardrobe emergency. Can I make a request? from the special collection and 
I will pay you back um, and send. Uh, you get back pretty much right away, as you know that your sire's ghoul takes care of that. Um, you get back Trivial B. And then, like, an address to a nearby high-end fashion kind of... Not necessarily, not, not like a warehouse, but just sort of like where you know in Vancouver that they do, like, the designs and they make sure that they have everything set up there. Okay. Antonia text back, thank you, appreciate it, have a good night. You don't get anything back. It's pretty close to sun up in that particular area of the country. Yeah. Um. So, Violetta, this being taken care of, if you wish, we can pick it up tonight. We can pick it up tomorrow, whichever you wish. But I can guarantee you that it will cost at least three times what you are wearing. No offense or anything. Oh, I would take offense. No uh, offense. With that. With that, I I step out. I, I step out to the car there. Rusenaya Suka. Suka, nazywasz mnie Suka. <laughs> and uh, Antonia just, uh, yeah, she just she just sits down. She's just like. You've all lost me, dears. Violetta at this point is pacing. Her heels are just clicking on the floor. Red bottom. You should have touched those, too. This is oh. a two dots of composure, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the old man is going out to the car. Uh, he is. Are you feeding while out there, or are you... No, no, no. I'm just going to get the... Uh, get get the, Sal, um, the new guy? Yeah, yes. Okay. Oh, that's his name. So you bring him in. He's still kind of unconscious a little bit. Uh, you're going to be bringing him into the questioning area, I'm assuming? I am. Okay. Uh, so you kind of plunk him down in the, I guess, folding steel chair that's back there. It's near the coffee maker for the human staff. He's like, "Hey, man, don't don't be so rough." I don't say anything back. Welcome. Is everyone else joining? Yes, Sam. Antonia, after that little exchange, would have started making her way down to the questioning room. Still okay. clearly a bit on edge. I'm like running my hands through my hair, just trying to calm down. Just like trying to hover over the spot that isn't there because I think the old man is dirty. I think my clothes have been ruined along with my $350 pen. So I'm like, I'm walking down there still clearly with the tick in my face, just the constant twitching of my eye. And I'm just standing there, just very solitary. Violetta, is you sure there's nothing I can grab you from the bar to help you calm those nerves? Perfectly fine. Right? Perfectly fine. And is Key joining as well? Um, has everyone gone in? Because Key's just been listening to everyone vamp. No <laughs> pun intended. I think I think everybody else is gone. Yeah. Sorry, you cut off at the end. Everybody else is what? Uh, everyone else is going in. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah, Key will just hang out in the background, try to blend in. But before we get to that, we're going to take a bit of a break and then we can come back to talk with Sal. Uh, so, yeah, come on back in about seven minutes, everybody. And uh, we will be uh, having a nice little conversation with the Giovanni.
person. Uh, so we will see you then. And we're back. All right. So this particular coterie is now going to be having a nice little sit down chat with uh, Sal. Sal, you kind of push him in the chair and he's kind of a plain looking guy. He's not, he doesn't have any like any merits for like super physical beauty or anything like that. So he's like kind of thrown there and he's like, oh, oh man, easy, easy, take it easy. Welcome. Uh, hi. Hi. What's How's your morning name? going? Uh, I'm I'm Sal. My evening's kind of it's not going great. Let's put it that way. It's just so no, it's low. not, is it? No, not at all. I don't think it's going to get any better. That's just great. So, why don't you start by telling us what you know about everything? Well, I am pretty knowledgeable about a bunch of different things. Specifically, the incident that uh, that occurred this evening. You were running away from something. I think was that correct, uh, Key and Old Man. So I was running away from you? Yep. I wasn't running away from them, per se. What were you running from? The vampires? Why? Because they went into, like, the, the warehouse that we were using to produce coffin in and fucked up all of our shit. See, that is very interesting. I find yeah. that so amusing, truly. Why would anyone do Why? such a thing? I don't know. I don't know. Like, you don't know? But yeah, you, you do know. Well, you vampires get into like all these turf wars and whatever and clans, like, fighting clans okay. and whatever. Okay. Okay. You're working for something. Yeah. Who is also a vampire. Was Why? also a vampire. Are they no longer with us then? As far as I can tell, no. So how were your drugs still showing up at my club today? Well, it literally just happened tonight. So okay. I'm guessing it probably takes, I don't know, it's one of those like financial things probably takes a bit of time Supply to disrupt. Supply chain issue. Sure, Supply yeah. It, it probably just hasn't hit this portion yet. Like the boat in the canal or whatever, right? Where it got stuck and it took mm -hmm. time for all the prices yes. over here to shoot up. It takes eight minutes from the light of the sun to get to our Mike. I did, did not know that, but told, told, sure. told me that. All right, Sal. So you say your boss has expired. Yeah. It's no longer with us. Cease your to boss be. couldn't your your boss couldn't have been working alone though. The spark of his life is smothered and shit. Yes. Okay. I get it. Your boss wasn't working alone because, I mean, that's a pretty big operation for one person to do alone. Well, he Who was your boss of, working with? He had a bunch of other ghouls and stuff, right? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Who were his higher-ups? I don't know. Some, like, regional Hakata person. So, dead body fuckers then. All right. Ew. Chris, I mean, it's true. Yeah, it's true. You just gotta call them how you see them, you know? Yeah, so, I do that, I'm called Clannist. I 
we we'll get back to that. So regional headquarters then, where is regional headquarters, so to speak? I don't know. I think maybe Portland. 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 Right. And um, can you explain to me exactly how this uh, particular drug came about? What was the process behind producing it? Was it done locally? Uh, we like have the formula to do it locally, but I don't know exactly. You have the formula. Well, not me specifically, but... Who specifically has it? I don't know exactly. Probably somebody uh, the, that the boss works for. Let me ask you a very serious question right now. All right. Most of your answers have been, I don't know. It must be someone else. I don't know. You know, like a child. Is there anything that you can do, like, well? Um, I, I'm just, like, the... I'm kind of low on the, the, the ladder of success. Really? We see that. Whatever they're calling that. I don't know. It's weird like some kind of team building ridiculous corporate thing um <clears throat> allow allow me if i may of course all right i get really <laughs> close <laughs> to sal so he can like see every like scar and pore and like 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 awful disfigurement of my face and i say what's your name again uh sal no it's not it's shit you understand me and the only thing stopping me from scraping you off the bottom of my goddamn shoe is that you tell me what you know so you better know something real fast because your life is dependent on it Give me a, let's go with a manipulation and intimidation roll. Okay. I'm going to guess that those are roughly around five dice. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> material girl. <laughs> I live in a material world and we can't afford that song. Okay. Uh, that is... <laughs> and we're muted. <laughs> uh, that is... Uh, three successes. Uh, he's like trying to lean back as far as he can on his chair, like. Uh, and he's like, uh, well, I, look, man, I don't know, I don't know anything. I'm just. You like, don't know. You don't know. What did I just say? I'm I'm just a lower guy. I don't I don't have any of the formulas or anything. I just like help with like the distribution and sending Tell sending me the what stuff you out. You do know. That's Everything what I do know. You know. I, I know where to send the people to. Like I'm part of the distribution of it. These uh, clowns who came through and fucked up your, your, your op, did they, what, did they take any of that info? They took like a bunch of the supply. See, you do know, know something. Yeah, I I guess uh, I think. And so. when they left, and when they left, where did they go? No idea. I you, was just you hadn't I, you you hadn't seen any of them ever. I, I no, not before. No. Did they? I feel like. I was just say at that moment, probably the old man will feel will like on the table next to him will feel like a map, kind of poke it, like hit his hand or something, like just basically tap his body. As the and unrolling will, of the map. Yeah. yeah, he's like, he just kind of whispers in the old man's ear. He said he knows distribution locations. 
good place to start. And just leave that um, there. I uh uh this time politely hold my hand out to via uh, uh, asking for a <laughs> pen. <laughs> Please let this be the canon storyline. Violet is. Violetta, we do need the information. I'm going to take it out of my blazer and just toss it at him like I'm tossing a freaking food to a dog. <laughs> and I take that pen, I take his hand, and I put it in his hand, and I say, <laughs> now. Nah. Well, like, we had some going, any, like, circles the area um, with Antonia's club on it. Like we had some going here and then we had some any circles where the red room would be. And then he circles like a few other locations that are kind of, there's only like one or two in North Van, uh, but there's also like pretty much a long, it's almost directly along Granville. Like almost exclusively to what the vampires would refer to as the rack, kind of like the club district where people hang out and it's kind of easy bites in there for vampires. I take the pen out of his hand and say, give me that gut, dude. This shit's expensive. And I politely hand it back. <laughs> Do not give that back to me. It is worthless now. Did you see what you j j just did? You made my friend's pen worthless. Uh, sorry, uh, I don't. Uh, I I don't really make all that much money from the when and, you know my distribution these, just when kind these of assholes just... when these assholes came through and wrecked your spot. Did they have an exchange with your boss? Did they say anything? Uh, uh, I guess so. Like, kind of a bit of one. Like, I was just dropping off some stuff and getting my stuff loaded back up. Uh, but okay. I, I was kind of like in the, in the back area. Like, I couldn't really make out what they were saying. But then they just started like fighting, and like there was a whole bunch of gunfire that went off and. There's like a, I don't know, somebody hit somebody with a fucking steel chair. It was just ridiculous. Right. How do you get paid? Uh, usually by like wire transfer. May I have your phone? Uh, sure. He hands over the phone. Does he have like a banking app or like a Venmo or a cash? Uh, he has like <laughs> three or four different apps like that, but you can definitely tell like when you go through, like you do the like the double tap to try to open it up to see like the apps that he's got open, and just one of them is kind of prevalent. Can I go into that one then and just like? I'm snooping. Yeah, he gets paid from what you can tell. There's like a um it's like Duncern Industries like sends him a payment of about 300 bucks or so every every week. You know more than you're letting on. I guess. It's kind no, of shrugs. I guess. Uh, I guess. No. I'm going to hold up the phone because I don't have a phone with me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't certain industries. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. I don't know where they pay for whatever. They pay you a measly $300 less than an intern that I pay for a week. Yeah. Yeah, 
it's not the greatest amount of money. Let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah. So, Downstream Industries, anything else you'd like to tell us about your generous employer before I try and find their tax ID? That's just where they pay me from? You horse. You're very intelligent. You are smart. Thanks. Mm-hmm. So, so clearly you work in supply chain. Yes, clearly you work in supply chain. Clearly you work for Dunster and Industries. Clearly you have higher ups and people that work alongside with you. Right. So but... and you marked out these spots. Do you have any identifications on the vans? Any? Specific tag plates we should look for, anything of the sort. After all, you are a very intelligent person. Not, not really. Like, no, no, no. You are clearly. I'm trying to boost his ego and try. I really forget. Uh, give me a. Let's go with a manipulation because clearly you're trying to manipulate him. Uh, let's do manipulation and persuasion, maybe. Okay. Or if you wanted to do it subtly, it could be subterfuge. Nah, I'm not being subtle. <laughs> nah, nah, she's past that right now. We're past that right now. Ooh, okay. Um... Four. Four successes. Um, he really doesn't have much of anything else for information. Like, he just... Pretty much you've gotten most, if not all, of what you can get out of him out of him at this point. Like, he doesn't know, like, exactly... Like, he knows that his boss was there at the time, and now his boss apparently is deceased. Uh, and he knows that he gets paid from Dunsern Industries. Uh, he doesn't, he's kind of, he's like, he's pretty much what he said. He's like lower level, not high up on the, the food chain of this particular vampire grouping. Who's your favorite superior? Oh. One question, if I, if I may, Violetta. You said that you don't know the formula. Right. But you know which people do know the formula. Uh, I guess, right? Okay, so tell us. Which people know the formula? What are their names? And if you can, how do we find them? Well, uh... All the ones in this area, I guess, are kind of like, yeah, they they were all taken out by that group. That's You're group. saying your entire science team was taken out by that group? Yeah. We were That's just kind of a them. small operation. We were just trying to, like, I guess, break into the market here, really. Like, we weren't trying to, like, we, we weren't huge yet. And what was okay. your boss's name? Uh, Antonio G Giovanni. Oh. So they just straight up took him out. Seems like it. That's not a bad thing. Oh, I mean, for you, you're out of job, but not for us. <laughs> well, yeah, actually, I... it kind of is a bad thing for him. How long have you been a ghoul? Uh, like a couple of years now. A couple of years. Um, like just two years, as in like a couple of years? Like two or three, yeah. Okay. So it's not so bad. You'll have a little withdrawal, but you're not going to turn to dust tomorrow. All right, cool. 
I mean, oh, sure. <laughs> I'm going to like walk closer to him with a nice smile. How good are you with paperwork? I wouldn't say I'm the best, but you know, I know like Excel and stuff like that. That's great. Can you read? Uh, yeah. That's great. How about I can pay you at least $200 more than you're making per week, and I can get you something that is legitimate on your resume. Buy a letter. You're going to hire him? This guy's useless. You should just eat him and get it over. Mm -hmm. I'm not barbaric like you. Well, let's, let's not... Him. You should try it. Let's not go being hasty or anything. So you don't want a new job? You have steady employment that isn't at a local 7-Eleven? No, no, no. I want the job. I'm just saying, like, let's not be hasty with the eating me thing. That seems a little, uh, a little extreme. I'm not going to do that. I'm really a nice and generous soul, truly. All right. I'm going to, like, he's not tied up. <laughs> he, he's not time for it. sorry you're a bit low sorry he's not tied up or anything right no no he yeah. was just yeah put in the chair I'm going to extend my hand out to him I'm just I'm beckoning him to take it it's like yeah, yeah he takes the hand okay. it's like super awkward but yeah he, he doesn't know if he's supposed to hold your hand up or if he's supposed to <laughs> he, yeah I'm going to like forcefully pull him up before like putting both of my hands on his shoulders you work for me starting tonight alright and, and I am going to go ahead and tempt fate with my humanity so this is going to be fun I'm going to ghoul him I'm going to make a <laughs> yes I'm going to make a rouse check all right. Uh, because I need a rouse for my blood. I don't get hungry or yay. 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 <laughs> Sophia turns to Key. I think she's taking a pet. I always want one of those little golden doodle miniatures. <laughs> <laughs> All of those collars I see Violetta with make sense now. <laughs> and I'm going to just like uh, make like a cut in my wrist and just like extend it out to him. That does not give you a humanity stain because making a ghoul initially does. But this Ooh. this particular person okay. was already mm. a ghoul. So <sighs> you're just kind of extending things a little bit. Let's put it that way. Yay. Moral <laughs> ambiguity. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Holding on to that little bit of humanity that's still there. I like that in my head. I was like, oh, it's like buying a phone is expensive, but if you already have a phone, you could switch it to your provider. Oh yeah. my yeah. God. <laughs> Damn it, I got one of those Google pixels. I'm your provider now. <laughs> Secondhand used Google. There's like some weird mommy joke in there somewhere, but I'm not going to go fishing for it. Mommy, Welcome sorry. Welcome to Google yeah. Google. <laughs> all right i'm done i'm done all right yeah he drinks from the wrist well that's that's much better than the one <laughs> all right uh so you said 200 more can i get three honey you've already made the deal yes oh, you have. shit right. you're supposed to do that before also you i'm a lawyer Yeah. Oh. Don't worry, my employment isn't that harsh. All right, I suppose. Yeah, that's good. Right? See, I'm not that harsh. The people I call my associates can attest to that. <laughs> <laughs> Antonio you know? raises an eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really nice. I feel like I, Sophia is the only one nodding. Everyone else is like, 
She's getting better. <laughs> She's, she really is. The camera kind of goes around the entire group and it's just like, and Sophia's like. I mean, in, in her own way, she did give me a very expensive pen. So thank you for that. <laughs> please, please note that pen in your character sheet so that I can, <laughs> I can bring just that up later thing. on. <laughs> We we can bring it. This is the chronicle of the pen. It's no longer new blood. It's just like... <laughs> there was a bullet point pen, 1940s. It's gonna come full circle when Violet is willing to use it again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey Tonya. Do we know the owner of the red room? I was going to stop in there tonight. They were supposed to be doing a new night, and I was going to stop in there and wish them well and hope that they were doing well, but obviously we got sidetracked. Um, storyteller Antonia would know the owner, though? Uh, uh, you think the you promoters know the owner? probably not. Okay. I do think we know the owner. We can probably pop by there tonight or tomorrow night and have a little chat i think that's wise i do too let's find out what's been going on there i do want to know i still there's a part of me that's so curious i want to know what oh, yeah. the formula is for this i'm wondering if maybe say sal is that group that um and made a mess of, of your building of mm -hmm. the the warehouse um it, did they take the formula did they take like a, a written version of the formula or a digital version is it saved in the cloud is this formula something that they would have saved in the cloud yeah i don't i don't know if they're that stupid uh, i i was hoping I they were a little stupid but you know i don't know i don't know what exactly they took they probably took a, like a bunch of papers and stuff and just a and yeah. you would recognize them if you saw them. Yeah, probably. All right. All right. We'll see if we can uh, if we can get some introductions, maybe. As a storyteller note, uh, for the old man, did you set up the meeting for the Nosferatu for this evening, or would you have pushed it off until I would have I would have pushed it up like i'm pretty hurt and like i need okay. to eat and rejuvenate mm -hmm. and i kind of want to be in a good shape for that one okay so on that point it is kind of getting close to that uh it's not there yet but you all kind of get the feeling that the sun is likely to be coming up within the next few hours. Like it's getting. To I be... say. Uh, I Go say. Ahead. He, you hungry? I'm starving. I don't have time for these stupid question and answer things anymore. All right. I'm getting what they call hungry. Okay, we're gonna head out. This seems to be handled. Anything else that, that you need, and Tonya? If you do want to drink, if it's if it's very pressing, we got. They will be happy. Suzette will be happy to help you at the bar. We got takeout. It's fine. All right, good. I even brought a little brown baggie for leftovers. Lovely. Yeah. So uh talk to you tomorrow, Violetta. Thanks for the you know. Well, I have a restraining order taken out against you. <laughs> Violetta, if you want, I can take you tonight. I can take you to the shop. They can take care of you. And I'm sure that they can set you up with a lovely pen that is comparable to the one that you have so kindly given to the old man. They don't give things away. Sure. You. Uh, yeah. You know how to drive? 
Yeah. Okay, good. We're going shopping. In a manner of speaking. <laughs> We're going to fast forward that particular portion of it. Um, <laughs> yeah, then lose it. Makeover, 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 makeover. The next <laughs> half an hour of the episode just turns into one big, long shopping episode. I love um, Starbucks. But yeah, just, we're gonna fast just, forward just that. Pose with the, the most horrific <laughs> eating <laughs> underground. This is an episode of Saw going down underneath the city, but on top of the city, everyone's having a grand old time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stop for my Starbies first. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna go fast forward the feeding of Key and the old man until. Wait, what uh, does that do to our hunger? That would bring your hunger down. Actually, are you going to be draining the body dry? That is the important mechanical question for this. I literally need to eat his organs. So, like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, like, where blood goes for that. Like, what? Like, it's like, um, oh, but there's like, like, I eat all the uh, all the all the oatmeal, but there's still m- milk left in the bowl. Like, is that what's happening? Like, I still I still need milk in the bowl. If you, or, yeah, if you guys both want to I basically, to yeah, drink the entire thing, squeeze out the last bits of toothpaste from the tube, type of thing. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna roll them up like the end of a like a toothpaste <laughs> thing. Just roll them up till the last bit comes out. It's a double team. It's a double team. I love these. Double team really means something different in Vampire the Masquerade. Last episode, we had, yeah, just for everybody playing at home, uh, this is a rated M for mature stream. Um, Last episode, we had the Uber Eats joke and comparison, and this time we have the rolled up toothpaste tube. So, you know, whatever. (laughs) Mature content from this game. Um, which one of you would basically get the rest of the last bit of blood, leaving um, out most if, of the graphic things that you're going to be doing to this poor and If the old man is focused on the organs, I feel like he would be the one doggy bagging up like the last of the blood. All right, uh, I need it will for you, things. Will you take the last of the blood, old man? It's up to you. Uh, you can leave it if you want. Mechanically speaking, what is it? Do. The last drops of blood from the human body will drop your uh it will drop your hunger down to zero. But there's no other way to drop your hunger down to zero. And oh, then, then likely yes. likely considering how brutal this is, I'm going to award you both a humanity stain though. <laughs> thank you it means nothing to me because i live in a sewer <laughs> oh we'll find that out later but all right so uh so the old man's uh hunger is going down to zero key that would drop your hunger down to one because you, you were getting some bites in uh before the old man brown bagged it i suppose would be the best way i'm allowed i'm allowed to have a brown bag though um if you want yes i need it for stuff okay and sophia antonia and violetta all go shopping uh violetta (laughs) you are able through antonia's connections to find something that suits your high standards uh if i may you may. Antonia, Antonia would have uh, knocked on the sun, side door of the Arme uh, boutique that is near Alberni on, in Vancouver. Okay. Um, the door would have been opened um, by, you know, a nondescript person, would have nodded at Antonia, walked down into the basement where there is a large cavernous room where there are suits dresses and everything from the 40s the 50s the 60s and even some from the 1920s all in impeccable perfect condition lining the sides there would be various shoes for violetta to choose from and 
of course, there would be Bix. So Yoletta would have a choice. Just like at this moment, like Violet, even though she likes to say, I'm typically composed. <laughs> like at that point, she just like, she walks down, she's like stunned and in awe. She's just like, that's Coco de Chanel. It's a Dior. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. A vintage. <laughs> Antonia's kind of nonchalant about this. She's just like, yeah. yes, Sophia's flitting is. here and there and just bouncing across the room, just looking at everything. <laughs> I will let you all make your selections from whatever happens to be there, which is pretty much anything, really, let's be honest. Um, and we will fast forward a little bit to the next night. Uh, so I'm going to get a rouse check from everyone. And you can do it oh. in the chat as well, if that is your uh, What do I do for so. a rouse check again? A uh, rouse check is a single blood diet see if you get a success or a non-success. I did it. Yeah. I failed. Oh, that's a 10. He gets hungrier. I failed. So Great. you were at one hunger. Um, yeah, from... now I'm back. Yeah, now you're back. <laughs> worth, worth it. And Key hears in the back of their mind. So Key. Mm. You should eat someone. Last one was sour. I didn't like him. But we're meeting new friends, so maybe them. Maybe. You disrespect the father of our kind. But isn't that so subjective? Maybe I am bold in Zim. Maybe everyone got his words wrong. Maybe. But if you keep this up, you'll never know. I feel like that just makes Key excited. <laughs> uh, old man, how'd you do on your rouse check? I rolled a one. You are once again hungrier. <laughs> so you went I'm from, so happy. <laughs> you went from zero to one hunger, and you hear in the back of your mind, <clears throat> you should eat someone, probably, you think, maybe. I said, I say, I just did. <laughs> well, clearly it didn't work because I'm in the back of your mind again. <laughs> oh, well, shut the fuck up back there. Ooh, wow. Real tough talk for somebody who... I don't know. It's weird. Who, Stop it. Who what? Who, who what? Hey, I'm not just... I'm just saying, there's a reason why there ain't no mirrors down here, is what I'm saying. Oh, oh, oh. Real cheap shot. Yeah, I do what I can. Just keep in mind that my outsides match my insides now, all right? Uh, Sophia, you got a 10, I believe. Yes. Antonia, how did you do? I got a 3. I failed. Uh. So, you here. And how did they like the dresses? You are muted, I believe, because I can't hear you. I mean, obviously. And the suits and the handbags and whatever. You should eat someone, something, somewhere. The, I don't know why, but you seem to have a thing for... What you have a thing for, I don't even want to discuss it. I know, it's not like the old country. Mm. But it's better. I will eat. They're better here. Mm. Be sure that you do. 
I will. And Violetta, how did you do? I got a 10. Yeah. Two tens. What? 10 buddies. For everybody watching at home, the <laughs> upper left hand corner both got 10s. We're having like <laughs> the opening scene of Legally Blonde of just happy ecstasy after the <laughs> fashion shopping. So, for uh, where would you all be meeting? Would you all be kind of meeting up first and then heading to where the Nosferatu meeting would be? Um, he would just meet wherever the old man had said he was going to go. Yeah, I think Antonio would have just met them outside of wherever um, the old man said to meet them. Yeah, so if we don't meet at the club right away, then I would say like we would just head right to the uh, the uh, sh shipyard. Shipyards, okay, yeah. Uh, Sophia and Violetta, I believe you would probably also be going. Uh, yeah, uh, basically there, but again, I would assume, oh, what's my ghoul's name again? I am such a bad <laughs> dom dominator, do dominator. It's, it's, it's totally fine, because you just ghouled him last night, right? So, you did. <laughs> uh, it's Sal. Sal? Sal. Yeah. Uh, essentially, I would just be like, drive me now. Uh, sure, where, uh, where are we going? I'm just going to like give him like this uh, sheet of paper with an address on it. Just like go there. The shipyards. All right. Uh, you sure you want to be going in those shoes though? What's wrong with him? Well, you don't want to get them all like fucked up, right? Good point. Go on the Kate Spades. They're cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> Disposable, really. <laughs> oh shit. my god, that rules! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there was any Lasombra here. That's some pretty hefty shade. <laughs> um, Sophia, you are also making your way. Yes. Does Sophia have any ghouls that would uh, help her throughout the course of the day? Yes, it's her current. Um, blood bag that she <laughs> regards them as <laughs> okay um yeah so you make your way to the shipyards the shipyards in vancouver uh they are it's it's kind of constantly almost in a perpetual state of it seems to have just rained in the world of darkness in vancouver <laughs> so there's like the the minor puddles here and there Things look wet on the pavement, um, but it's not actually currently raining in Vancouver. So you all, I'm guessing there's like some kind of parking that is nearby that you would all kind of meet up before you presented a united front heading into where the Nosferatu meeting would be. And, That's right. Okay. And you all kind of pull up in your respective vehicles. And as you all get out, uh, I'm going to give you guys a scene there to talk amongst yourselves if you would like, or we can just go right into the Nosferatu meeting. Violetta? Yes, good evening. The shoes. We are not going to ruin a product. <laughs> I suppose so. I'm not going to ruin a Louis Vuitton going down here. Yeah. That makes sense. You 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 hear a and I climb out. <clears throat> Oh, really? It was faster. Mm. If you say so. I do. Hey, uh, 
What's with the sh shoes? Because you dirty rat people don't know how to clean up in a fucking sewer, that's why. You don't clean up a shipyard, come on. Yeah, because you're born in shit. Thanks I'm just for the going pens. to snap my fingers over its head, just like, <laughs> like this, like, like this. I say, thanks for, for the pen, by the way. Oh, you're welcome. By the way, I brought my ghoul. Hi. This one's Jason. Jason. Hello, random person that I won't see in six months. <clears throat> hey, what does she mean by that? Nothing. Do you like nothing. <laughs> you like it's just a joke, really. Leave. Sophia's playthings alone. Jason, why don't you head back now? I think I've got it from here. Are you? You wanted like? You want? You don't want me to drive you back? Well, you can wait for me to call. Oh yeah. 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 Oh my god. And he gets in the car. Off you go. Drives off. I turn back. He's not the smartest. They never are, though. Give me a wits and awareness from everybody. Can I search for that? If you would like. I would like to, yes. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? What are you doing? It's pain game. And that's when the Nosferatu all attack. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what fun I did. I you said wits and what? Uh, wits Oops. and awareness. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> One success. One success. Uh, Antonia is kind of looking serious. off as the ghoul drives away. Uh, how many successes? Three for Key. Uh, three for Sophia. Two for the old two for man. The four for Violetta. It wasn't the. Yeah, but I'm hungry. I'm, I'm hungry. It wasn't the four through zero anymore. <laughs> uh, so, Violetta, you're the first one who noticed. And as you get hungrier, you hear, is that a rat in the back of your mind? How revolting. You know, I don't choose who I fucking associate with. And you definitely see, by a manhole cover, probably about 50 meters away from where you all are, there is another rat that is, in a way of putting this, it's ginormous. Like, it is, there's there's rats, there's New York City sewer rats, which are <laughs> I larger. Know I know them. <laughs> and then there's this, which looks like if it, took on a New York City sewer rat, it would have the size and weight advantage and the reach I, advantage. Like, this thing is huge. It's like Princess Bride rat? Or <laughs> it's not, not that. quite that big. <laughs> but it's unusual. Uh, <laughs> I don't believe they exist. Uh, the old man, you definitely would know that this is kind of a thing that happens with Nosferatu <laughs> ghouls. They kind of get larger than what things generally are. And it's doing the exact same thing that the other rat had been doing. It's kind of sitting on its hind legs. It's little skittery yeah. feet are in the front. And it's looking oh. at all of you. I walk up t t t t to it. Is there anything on it? There is nothing on this particular rat. But as you get close to the rat, someone appears out of thin air, out of obfuscate for everyone playing the home game. Ooh. And it is someone who, old man, you would recognize this person. 
This is, let me just make sure I get that name right again, Christoph. This is Christoph. And he is a large, intimidating looking individual. He's, if he's an inch tall, he's seven feet. Ooh. And he has like kind of large, bulky clothing on. You can't tell for everyone who hasn't met Kristoff before, the old man. You know him kind of in passing. Uh, he, it looks, with the clothing and the layers, the way they're set up, he could be, like, built like a brick shithouse, or he could be, like, the thinnest person that you've ever met with, like, 17 layers of clothing on. Like, it. It's really hard to tell if he's like super strong and super bulky or if he's just like trying to masquerade as such. Aha, that's the name of the game. Mm. Roll credits. You said it. <laughs> Roll credits. Uh, yeah, so and as the old man gets up close you can hear Kristoff say, hey, and that's so, where we're going to leave this particular oh, episode. Oh, <laughs> I was so excited. Uh, so thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, we are going to find somebody to raid out to in just a few minutes. But first, we're going to do some quick outros for everybody, and uh, everybody will tell you where they're going to be next and what they're working on and where to find them. So let's go over here with Alan. Uh, hello, my name is Alan uh, and uh, you can uh, find me um, uh, 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 at uh, Questline on t t Twitch where I uh, help run and play in g g g g g g g games. Um, we we also have things on YouTube and uh, as well uh, we make uh, sketches and funny things at second besties um, and uh, yeah you'll see me around uh, the the internet and stuff it's great and Chris hey I'm Chris aka D and D imposter on all socials um, you can find me on TikTok and Instagram mainly, and um, on Alec the Bard's YouTube playing Masks, A New Generation, TTRPG. And Joanna. Hello, my name is Joanna. I, I was playing Antonia for you today, and you will find me on the socials as Hyrule Gardner. You will find me here playing Vampire, and that's about it. And Monica. Hi, this is Monica playing your favorite vampire passenger, Princess Sophia, uh, <laughs> tonight. <laughs> you can find me at Monica M underscore art across uh, Twitter, Instagram, and all your favorite social medias. Um, check out my graphic novel. It's coming out in September. Yeah. And last, but certainly not least, Michaela. Dr. DH. Uh, I am Cosmic underscore Dazai on Twitter and Instagram or Tumblr, if you still use that. Uh, <laughs> you can find me at Girls Run These Worlds, uh, actually doing my own uh, Vampire the Masquerade game soon. Um, most of the time, I do not play an unhinged Samitsu, but I was playing Violetta tonight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And this guy's storyteller, Steve. So uh, what I'm going to need from everybody watching, uh, if you're not following us already on Twitch, click down there, give us a follow. Um, you can go over to our YouTube, which I'll put the link up over there. You can uh, give us a subscription over there. Both of those options are free. And if you have any coin kicking around, you want to kick our way, a subscription here is uh, pretty cheap. And it helps out all the people on screen. Uh, and the you can become a member on YouTube. They have different names for different things. Uh, that is only $3. And it, again, money goes to the people on screen. 
or you can check out our merch shop and buy stuff like this. So I'm not actually wearing the meat C t-shirt tonight, um, <laughs> but you can get a bunch of different things with the meat C on it, like hats. You can get t-shirts. You can get uh, shower curtains if you really wanted to. You can get beach <laughs> towels. You can get pretty much anything with the meat C on it just to show your love for that specific certain clan. Um, yeah, so go check that out, and uh, yeah, we will raid out to somebody after this, or uh, if you want to kick us a dollar at minimum, you can go over to our Patreon, and with our Patreon, you can see, with the $1 subscription, you can see the Session Zeros that we have, uh, and for the $5, you can get episodes early like a week early if you really wanted to so go check that out and we will find somebody to rate out to you so we will see you next time have a good night everybody